in this segment, I will discuss uh, the, well, I will review how we take the derivative of an inverse function. You'll recall that this was uh, a result of the, uh, the chain rule and implicit differentiation. Okay, so what is an inverse function? Let me review that first. So supposing we have a function which maps from u to v, and we have another function g which maps from v to u. So in this, x will be in u and y will be some element of v. So if we have that g of f of x equals x for every x in u, and for every y in v, we have f of g of y is equal to y. Then we say that g is an inverse of f. Similarly, f is an inverse of g. And when, not all functions have inverses, when do they have inverses? Let's recall the definitions of one-to-one -one and onto. Uh, f sends u to v is one-to-one. -one. If f of x1 equals f of x2 always implies that x1 is equal to x2. And a function f sends u to v is said to be onto v if the range of f is equal to v. Okay, so when does a function have an inverse? A function has an inverse if and only if f is both one to one and onto. Okay, now I review the derivative of an inverse function. Suppose that f sends u to v as an inverse, g sends v to u. Note that g is acting in the opposite direction. And by the definition of inverse functions, then we have g of f of x, I'm going to call f of x y. g of f of x is equal to x for every x in u. Then the chain rule says that the derivative of g with respect to y times the derivative of f with respect to x is equal to the derivative of x with respect to x, which is one. Now I'm going to solve, I'm, I'm looking for the derivative of g with respect to y, so I'm going to solve for that by dividing. If the derivative of f with respect to x is not equal to zero, then the derivative of g with respect to y equals f of x is equal to one over the derivative of f with respect to x. Let's do an example. Uh, f sends reals to reals, defined by f of x equals x cubed plus x plus one. I'll give you that it's invertible. I would like to know the derivative of g when its input y is equal to three. Okay, so if we use our rule, the derivative of g with respect to y is equal to one over the derivative of f with respect to x. Now we need, we know what the y is, y is equal to three. I need to work out what the x is for this y. Okay, so if y equals three, then what is x? Remember that f of x is equal to x cubed plus x plus one, and that's equal to three. Okay, and then the solution, and the only solution, because it's one to one, is x is equal to one. So uh, at that point, in general, uh, the derivative of f with respect to x is 3x squared plus 1. And when x is equal to 1, that means that the derivative of f at x equals 1 is 3 times 1 squared plus 1, which is equal to 4. OK, so finally, then, the derivative of g at x is equal when the derivative of g when y is equal to three is equal to one over the derivative of f when x is equal to one, which is equal to one over four. Okay, so now we will go on to, uh, a, that was a review of how to find the derivative of an inverse function. Uh, now we will go on to consider some uh, important examples of inverse functions and 